Hello everybody, my name is Water Dog, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to dogfight in an attack jet. Please follow along, I'm going to go really fast through here. This is a quick selection of clips, but there's some good tactics you might need to learn that you never thought of. Now, the first one is, uh, obviously, is probably most of you know this, is when you first spawn in in the middle of a battle, you need to find exactly where the other jets are. Well, a good tactic for this is flying up really high towards the enemy's base, it's where no other jets really think you'd see you, because for whatever reason people are afraid to fly high in this game. And you fly really high, and when they spawn in, which is usually later, they will pull, they will fly really low, and you'll be right behind them to take them out. Now, as you watch here, I get their uh, stealth jet out of the sky, and I win, and I'm free to move on to ground targets. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is um, how you aim and how you lead shots. Now, um, you want to make sure uh, you get in the right position behind somebody because you don't want to be in front of them at all because getting in front of them can be super frustrating and to get out of it is extremely hard. But then this next clip, I'm going to show you where you want to aim. Now I pause it here to see um, look where my little crosshairs are in the middle. Now in a stealth jet, those crosshairs will move around, but it'll be a little dot in the middle. You want to you want to aim just a little bit in front of them at the distance I'm at because the jets move fast enough to get to dodge bullets. Now when you lead them, you take this factor out and you can easily take someone out of the sky. Now now uh, I want to move on to how to use heat seekers. Most people think of heat seekers as a weapon to blow someone out of the sky with. And to be honest, you won't easily blow someone out of the sky with heat seekers. But when, they, when you fire heat seekers, the person wants to bank to the left or right. That makes them more vulnerable because they're giving you more surface area to shoot at. Use heat seekers as a tactical weapon to get them to bank so you can shoot at more surface area and make aiming a lot easier. See, as you see, I put most of my damage in them when they're turning to the, when they're banking to the left here. And now, even when they're in front of me, um, there's so little surface area shown that I, it's harder for me to hit them, even though I do just blow them out of the sky because they're so dang close to me. Now, you want to remember that when you're being chased, too, that you want to show them as little surface area as possible. Now... In this next clip, here's an example of what you don't want to do. <laughs> so here I'm uh, just flying around, you know what I mean, and I turn around and I see there's this LAV down there. So I decide, you know what, I'm going to line up this LAV. And what I do is I go for the kill, but I don't see these trees in front of me, and boom, I blow up. That was a really dumb mistake that can be avoided. Don't ever strafe too low next to trees. Now this is the end of the commentary. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some uh, new ideas about how to use heat seekers and uh, banking and all that stuff and how to dodge people. Um, if you found this commentary helpful, please leave a like and I will come out with more. If you have any tips and tricks to leave me, please leave them down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.